G'day legends, how's it going? Trev here from Trev's Life and on today's video I'm going to have a quick chat to you about how to look after your axe handles or the handles on your Matic or your rake or anything like that. Alright, let's get stuck into it. Right here gang, if you're anything like me, you love collecting tools, <laughs> but it can get expensive and because I'm not a bloody lumberjack or anything like that, I can't really afford to go out and buy a really new beaut expensive axe. So in that situation, you've got two choices. A, you can go to a garage sale and hopefully pick up a good quality axe at a good price, or B, do what I did, rip into Bunnings, get yourself a Spear and Jackson, two kilo or four and a half pound axe, brand new, 39 bucks, cheap as chips. Right, so from the factory, these axe handles come with a coat of varnish on there. Now the varnish makes it look pretty swinky do in the shop, but it's not good for the wooden handle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand off the varnish and then we're gonna hit it with a couple of coats of oil. Rightio. So, boiled linseed oil is the way to go if you've got some or if you wanna buy some. But, you know me, I'm always on a budget, so I'm gonna sand this bad boy down and I'm just gonna hit it with a bit of the old decking oil, which is better than nothing. And uh, that will nourish the wood and give it longevity, stop it from shrinking and becoming loose in the axe head. And uh, yep, that's what we're doing. Right, for sanding, what I'm gonna do to knock off this varnish, and uh, oh, another reason why we're getting rid of the varnish is because if you use this bad boy for a while, it'll give you blisters, it's not good. If you have the oil finish on it, you won't get as many blisters, hopefully. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little palm sander doohickey. I'm gonna run a 120 grit sandpaper just to knock that varnish off or peel these stickers off. And then we'll come through after we've done that and we'll hand sand it with a 400 grit just to get a beautiful smooth finish. All right. I'll set this up outside because I always do my sanding outside so I don't get dust in the gym. Right, let's do it. Rightio, five minutes with the 120 grit, the electric sander, and we've got it back to raw wood. Now we'll go in the shed and uh, give it a final sand with that 400 paper, and then we'll hit it with some oil. Righto guys, did the majority of the sanding outside, get the dust out of the shed. Oh, and I didn't wear a face mask, so remember to wear a face mask. Right, so, basically got this bad boy back to raw wood. And when I was sanding, I noticed a lot of scratches and pits and stuff. Most of that's all gone now, giving you a nice, beautiful finish. So, the next part is to get your fine 400 or whatever you've got grade sandpaper in the shed. Give it a quick rub over, make sure she's nice and smooth. Right. 
Rightio. Smooth, beautiful, raw wood. Okay, now, like I said, if you want to buy boiled linseed oil, that's what all the what's what all the expert lumberjacks and people like that use. But I'm on a uh, budget, and I'm going to use some decking oil. Yeah, look, watch the transformation. Oh yes, look at that. So in my opinion, not only does this look nicer, but the wood's saying, thanks Trev, and I can now absorb the moisture and the nourishment from the oil, so the wood won't shrink over time. There we have it, coat number one. Now the thing is guys, <clears throat> we're not all tradies, we can't all afford the best tools, but we can look after what we've got. And if you know the limitations of your tools and you look after them and keep them clean, then even the cheaper tools will give you a good run. All right, so that's one coat. I'll let that dry for 30 minutes. And then throughout the day, I'll come back and I'll probably give it another four or five coats. You'll know when it's had enough coats because the oil won't sink in anymore. It'll sort of pool on the surface and you'll know, right, oh, that's it. It's had a good drink. So there we have it. Look after your gear, keep it in good nick and it'll give you a good run. Right, hey guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we're nearly at 2,000 subscribers. So if you wouldn't mind smashing the subscribe button, that really helps the channel. And I uh, hope you have a great day. See you later. Ta-da.